Today we will be talking about retinal vein occlusion. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Apoor Grover, Consultant Vitreo Retina Services at Vision Eye Center. Now, what is retinal vein occlusion? Retinal vein occlusion involves obstruction of one of the retinal vessels which drain the blood supply from the retina. The retinal vein obstruction may occur at the level of one of the smaller vessels which drain blood supply from a particular part of the retina in which case it is called a branched retinal vein occlusion or it may occur at the level of the larger central retinal vein which drains the blood supply from the inner retina from all directions and in this case it is called a central retinal vein occlusion. The larger the area affected and the bigger the vessel affected the greater will be the loss of blood supply to the eye. Now the central retinal vein occlusion is further divided into ischemic central retinal vein occlusion and a non-ischemic central retinal vein occlusion. The ischemic central retinal vein occlusion means that the blood supply to the retina has been severely affected whereas the non-ischemic uh, central retinal vein occlusion is a relatively milder form with relatively fewer complications. What causes retinal vein occlusion? Retinal vein occlusion occurs as a result of chronic changes in the retinal blood vessels which cause narrowing of the lumen of the blood vessels and over a period of time it tends to get obstructed. A number of risk factors may predispose to retinal vein obstruction. These may include hypertension or high blood pressure, high blood cholesterol levels or hyperlipidemia, high blood sugar levels or diabetes, high body mass index or uh, obesity, increasing age and certain inflammatory conditions of the body and eye may, pre may predispose a person to retinal vein occlusion. Now we will talk about the symptoms of retinal vein occlusion. What will be the symptoms that a patient will experience in their eye when a retinal vein occlusion develops? Typically, retinal vein occlusion is accompanied by a sudden decrease in vision which is painless. The decrease in vision may be severe when the obstruction is, occurs at a larger level with a severe, when the blood supply is severely affected or it may be accompanied by a moderate visual loss or a mild distortion in vision when, relative, when the area of retina affected is relatively smaller. The larger the blood vessel affected, the greater will be the loss of blood supply and greater will be the symptoms in the patient. The retinal vein occlusion may also lead to delayed onset loss of vision in these patients. This may happen when a sudden hemorrhage develops in the vitreous cavity as a long-standing complication of retinal vein occlusion. This will be typically accompanied by sudden appearance of floaters in the eye or the loss of vision may be gradual when it is accompanied by a tractional retinal detachment or a certain condition called neovascular glaucoma which may occur as long-term complications of a retinal vein occlusion. Now we will talk about the complications of retinal vein occlusion. Now immediately when a retinal vein occlusion develops, it will cause uh, loss of blood supply to the inner retinal layers which may damage the inner retinal layers. It may be accompanied by accumulation of fluid in the central part of the retina or the macula in which case it causes macula to swell up causing a condition called macular edema and this causes a decrease in vision. Retinal vein occlusion may also cause long-term complications when over a, after a period of time to compensate for the loss of uh, blood supply, abnormal new vessels start developing on the surface of the retina. These new vessels may cause bleeding into the eye or a condition called vitreous hemorrhage where a hemorrhage develops in the vitreous cavity of the eye causing a loss of vision or it may lead, these new vessels may lead to formation of certain uh, scar tissue which causes a tug on the retinal surface leading to a condition called tractional retinal detachment. The abnormal new vessels which develop on the surface of the iris cause obstruction of 
fluid flow from the eye leading to abnormally high intraocular pressures leading to a condition called neovascular glaucoma which causes damage to the optic nerve this condition can be especially difficult to manage and is a common cause of blindness in this condition now uh, we'll talk about the investigations which will be required to diagnose and manage retinal vein occlusion your ophthalmologist will dilate the pupils and have a good look at the back of the eye with the help of certain lenses to diagnose the condition they may ask for photographs of the fundus or the retina which will help better delineate the area of retina affected and the vein obstructed and it will also help to follow the disease over a period of time how it is progressing the next important uh, investigation here is uh, optical coherence tomography or OCT which produces a cross sectional images of the different retinal layers and one can visualize the retinal layers which have been affected by the vein obstruction if there is any damage to a structural damage to the retina or if there is accumulation of fluid in the central part of the retina or the macula called macular edema this condition when diagnosed needs to be treated with injections and this test can also help follow up the condition over a period of time to see how it is responding to the treatment next we'll talk about a test called fundus fluorescein angiography wherein a dye is injected into the veins of the arm or the hand which the dye then flows subsequently to the retinal blood vessels and the photographs of the retinal blood vessels are then taken which helps better visualize any abnormal leakage from these blood vessels then thereby diagnose any abnormal new vessels which are developing on the retinal surface and it will also help us better identify areas of loss of blood supply or ischemia in the retina now we'll talk about the treatment of retinal vein occlusion it is important to note here that the treatment of retinal vein occlusion is aimed at managing only the complications of retinal vein occlusion and the retinal vein occlusion by itself cannot be reversed by treatment primarily the complications which can be treated here are uh, macular edema which involves swelling of the central part of the retina wherein fluid accumulates in the central retina this may be treated by certain injections in the eye called intravitreal anti vascular endothelial growth factor injections these injections reduce the leakage of fluid from the blood vessels and cause resolution of the swelling in the central part of the retina thereby stabilizing and improving vision the other major complications which involves the development of abnormal new vessels in the retina which may subsequently bleed into the eye or cause a retinal detachment these abnormal new vessels are treated with the help of a laser therapy wherein laser treatment is given to areas of ischemia or areas of loss of blood supply which causes regression of these abnormal new vessels in the eye which may further lead to complications later the other in certain severe cases of the condition wherein there is non resolving blood in the eye or any abnormal scar tissue which is tugging on the retina a surgery called vitrectomy surgery is useful to remove this abnormal accumulation of blood and scar tissue from the eye and thereby preventing any further loss of vision and restoring as much vision as possible thank you for patient listening if you have any queries on the subject please feel free to contact us at vision eye center at the following phone numbers and addresses thank you